Hi and welcome to the Through Night Channel. So today we're looking at something completely different. Normally we'd be checking out some flashlights, but today we're looking at some whistles. All right, Through Night had released a brand new whistle design, which is really cool. Uh, there's two different versions here. This one I've been carrying and using. Both of these are solid titanium. All right, this one's just the raw titanium, whereas this one has a gold anodized finish on it. All right, I'll show you the packaging real quick. If you were to get one of these, it would come in this little box. You see the separate cordage, which is nice black. All right, and then we have a little spec sheet, just like a flashlight, but it would give you some information about the products. And um, these are currently selling for $19.99, but they are on sale on Amazon as of the filming of this video, all right, for $15.99. If you want to get both, they do have a combination package, which would be a couple dollars cheaper, and that's currently $29.99. All right, so what I want to do is compare to some other common whistles. All right, next up online here, we have the Shoreline Marine Safety Whistle. This is uh, kind of like back when you were in grade school, although this is plastic and it does not have the little ball that's inside. If you remember, you know, coaches all through the 80s and 90s and 2000s, probably still today, um, they'd have a metal version of this with a little tiny cork ball that would bounce around. But this one's a little bit different, but similar P uh, style whistle, I believe those are called. All right, those are currently on Amazon for $4.99. Next, we're gonna compare it to the Nightcore. All right, this is currently selling for $19.19. All right, so just under $20. This is the NWS10. This is also a solid titanium whistle. So it'd be good direct comparison to these. Next, we have the Luxo Gear. These were actually in a two pack for $7.99. All right, different style here that has the built-in pocket clip. Okay, it comes with a lantern, of course. And last up on the table here, which is the weirdest looking whistle, this is the Hyper Whistle. All right, the Hyper Whistle sells for $16.95. All right, this actually came with a pack of earbuds. All right, so they're claiming this to be extremely loud. It's a very unique shape. It's kind of three whistles in one. All culminates down to this large uh, opening here. So first off, they are all whistles. They all make noise. So how would you possibly compare these to each other? Well. For most people, you'd probably just want to know how loud can it get. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test each individual one. All right. And in this case, I'm using an app on my cell phone to test the decibels. All right. So we're going to go ahead and leave this on the table. And we're going to blow each whistle. I'll do a moderate blow and then I'll blow in really hard and see the highest uh, decibel rating we can get. All right. So we're zoomed in, ready to go. First up again is the Through Night Titanium Whistle. Very moderate blow into the whistle. Now let's go ahead and give a, a real hard blow. All right, so it looks like we're maxing out at about 116 and a half decibels. All right, next up here is the Shoreline Marine Safety Whistle. A couple moderate blows. Just over 100. Now let's go ahead and blow in hard. And it looks like we're maxed out at 113.8. All right, so now we're gonna try that Nightcore whistle. All right. 102.7, all right, now a hard blow. 113.7. Now the Luxo gear. All right, 108.2, and then a hard blow. Wow, 120 on the button. All right, last up here is the Hyper Whistle. All right, just a moderate toot. Just under 100, now I'm gonna blow hard. And that is 118. Now, I do have to say that um, using the Hyper Whistle, it almost seems like some of this air is blowing back into my face. This clearly sounded the loudest but was just under what the, uh, the the Luxo gear was able to do. All right, so that's a little surprising. I, I mean, just in guessing numbers, I would say this is probably 130, 140 or something. It was extremely loud, but that could be because the sound is actually pushing back towards my ears. Who knows? It's just a different design. All right, now we're back. So you got a little uh, idea of what they may sound like. Obviously, the audio in a video that's recorded might be a little bit different than in person. Um, I could tell you my initial impressions is that this uh, this hyper whistle was uncomfortable to blow into um, hard. A moderate blow, it sounded about the same as the other ones as far as, you know, 
all the noise that's directly in my ear blowing a whistle just a few inches away. Um, it, it seemed like the loudest because I think that sound is bouncing back, but it was actually uncomfortable to use. So it's one of those things where I probably wouldn't use it. Just like any other you know, type of gear, if you're not comfortable using it, you, know, you probably won't end up carrying it. Uh, maybe you know, for emergency, emergency situations are a little bit different. Maybe you're able to tolerate a little bit of discomfort in order to get someone's attention, you know, so be it. But I can tell you, this is also the most cumbersome to actually blow into. It has the largest mouthpiece. So it's just a little bit awkward to have such a large thing in your mouth while you're trying to blow into it. And again, if you look at the design, we essentially have three different whistles that are just all combined together. All right, so honestly, not a big fan. And I really thought that this one, um, you know, would just be the loudest and it, it turned out it wasn't. So now we have the two, you know, larger plastic whistles. I think these are totally fine uh, to be stored or used for sports. If you want to save them for emergencies, I think that's great. However, you know, being a gear guy, I tend to go with, you know, small modern materials like this titanium. So for me, it would end up being between the through night and the night core. And there is a big difference. Uh, first off, on the through night, we have a rounded whistle as opposed to the square whistle. So the, uh, you know, the mouthpiece itself is way more comfortable on the through night. Uh, this one works totally fine. They're, I think the difference in how loud they are is negligible. They're both loud to me. It doesn't matter if it's a couple decibels more or not. Uh, but one thing I did notice in uh, testing before I created this video was that sometimes this mouthpiece, the, the uh, one on the night core was just, it was a little bit short so that when I put my lips over top, sometimes my lip would cover this hole a little bit and I'd have to readjust it. Whereas again, we have such a large area for your lips. There's no way to accidentally, you know, put the whole thing in your mouth essentially and cover where the air is coming out. So overall, I mean, this one works totally fine and it's cool to have on your keys, but I actually prefer the, uh, the through night for comfort. And like I said, it's just as loud. And as far as the price goes, it happens to be a couple dollars cheaper. All right, so I, I do like the through night the most. So there you go, a little comparison between the new through night whistles and some other common ones. Um, as far as the gear community goes, there's actually a lot of uh, custom whistles in the marketplace. Um, many of them are titanium, some are colored and cool designs and stuff, but they are quite expensive. I don't have it in front of me right now, but I do have a custom whistle that was over $100. And although it's a cool, interesting design, it's no louder than any of these. It just comes down to personal preference. However, the small titanium ones that can go onto your keys or something like a necklace, I think is much preferred over, you know, some of the cheaper, larger plastic ones. Not only just to be able to carry it, it's lighter weight, it's less cumbersome, but they're just kind of cooler. Anyway, that's all for now. If you guys are new to the Through Night channel, they do product giveaways. If you're interested in winning something like these whistles or perhaps a flashlight, go ahead and comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.